Ambe, mais ou Ambe, mais ou Anybody who uh, has an Ojibwe grandma at some point probably heard the phrase Ambe, mais ou Ambe, come on. Um, and then macha means uh, to leave, leave. But if you want to say let's leave, you, you add a da. Majada. Ambe. Majada. One bay. Majada. What to do it? La la la. <laughs> no. And this has been your Ojibwe phrase of the day. All right. Enough of that. <laughs> okay. It's got nothing to do with you I've got no one still you won't do And after today I'd say we are quite through But I know you won't break down and you won't miss a step you won't be around and you'll never forget it But one day when I'm old and gray I might look back and say That these were the golden days And one day when I'm old and I'm gray I could look back and say This was the price I paid So it goes or so they say Time's like a mountain skate And I don't know But I can't complain God knows I've got my own escape And sometimes I just might Even in the middle of the night Sometimes Someday Sometimes Well I Wake and bake But it's got nothing to do with you I've got no one still you won't do And after today I'd say we are hard quite through, but I know you won't break down and you won't miss a step, you won't be around and you'll never forget it. One day when I'm old and gray, I might look back and say that these were the golden days. And one day when I'm old and I'm gray, I could look back and say this was the price I paid. Even in the middle of the day It's even grand's a little so they say Sometimes, yeah Sometimes when I wake and be Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Michael Lyons. All right, let's call that good. Sequoia says, Anin Linda, where do you live now? Yeah, Linda, where do you live? Linda, <laughs> can we ask you a question? Uh, oh, okay, Linda's over here. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Something about where does she live? <laughs> yeah, what's your home address? We're going to drive by and 
tell everybody on the internet. What's that called? Is that doxing? I think that's called doxing when they, when they, you know, send a person's home address on the internet or whatever. Yeah. People are always trying to get our home address. I know. Why is that? Well, sometimes people just want to mail stuff like gifts and, you know, whatever. Or they want to support the show. <laughs> they want to support the show on Patreon, yeah. I call them our patron saints. Yeah. But they, well, they don't want to uh, support on Patreon. And they don't want to give a super chat. But they want to send, like, a check. Um, but they want to send it to the house. Um, I don't have a post office box. And there's something that makes me kind of nervous about giving strangers my home address. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm afraid somebody might pop in for a visit. I have to make coffee. You know. We might be doing something really important. Yeah, you never know if I'm doing something important. California, and I don't fit here anymore. I address by email only. <laughs> That's smart, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. From what I see on the internet, it looks like California has fallen. Is it just... <laughs> Remember, like, when I was a girl growing up... In fact, the one time I went to California, it was exactly what I expected. What would you expect? I expected it to look kind of like what I saw on TV. Yeah. Yeah, like palm trees, tons of people. Um, you know, sunshine, beaches, whatever. And sure enough, it was exactly that. It was kind of terrifying. And this was like 20 years ago. And people were like, oh, did you go to San Francisco? You must have so much fun. In San Francisco, because, you know, it's like, remember the, the sitcoms, like Family, what was that called? With the Olsen twins? <laughs> yeah. And uh, when you went there, you know, they, they would show San Francisco as like this beautiful place. The Golden Gate Bridge, and you go there, and and that was just the beginning of like, I was shocked at how many homeless people were just... Roaming the streets. You know, even saw a few tents. <laughs> but now you look on the internet and you go, yeah, you, if you're not sleeping in a tent in San Francisco, you, you don't even fit in. Oh, you're not even cool anymore. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not... Whatever. Yeah. Medicine water? Yeah. I mean, what's so medicine-y about it? Oh, yeah. Probably have something to do with, oh, you know, I don't know, going number two first thing in the morning. <laughs> don't be gross. <laughs> but another Ojibwe. Here's a, here's a little Ojibwe lesson. Anibish is tea. Anibish. And, you know, most of the time when people are talking about tea, they, they just say anibish. But that's actually just a tea leaf. Um, uh, if you want to talk about tea that you sip or a hot tea, you're a hot tea. You're a hottie to me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Hot tea is anibishabu. Anibishabu. 
hot tea. Because that abu is kind of like wabu and makade mashkiki wabu. It means um, water that you sip. And uh, these are just a couple of Ojibwe words of the day. And what's the cultural significance, you might ask? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> well, to me, I think culture is anything that you do every day. So, oh, what is the Indian cultural perspective on coffee and tea? It's like, yeah, it's part of our culture. Probably always has been. You wake up. You know, you go potty, you boil some water, you, you know, turn on the coffee maker, or whatever it is, and you start your day. The best part of waking up, they say, is uh, Folgers in your cup. Folgers? Yep. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. You have such a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> Hey, Rockstar Cartoonist, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Lyons. All right. Well, the south side of Chicago, it's the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just be aware of a man called Leroy Brown. Well, Leroy was a fighter. Liked his fancy clothes And he liked to wear his diamond ring In front of everybody's nose <laughs> And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown Baddest man in the whole damn town Badder than the old King Kong Meaner than a junkyard dog was a gambler and he liked to take some gold. <laughs> Leroy Brown like a jigsaw puzzle with a couple of pieces gone. And he's bad, a bad Leroy Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than the old King Kong. He was better than the old King Kong And meaner than the junkyard dog He was better than the old King Kong And meaner than the junkyard dog All right. Okay. That was we cool. Have, uh, have one more. Yeah. I think when they build a wall, <laughs> Trump's wall. Yeah, they should make sure they they you know build it on this side of California, <laughs> so they can't get into the United States. You want to, California to secede? Yeah. No, I don't care. So it's not my country. It's not my country. I'm just living here. All right. So what are we going to talk about tonight? Tonight I want to talk about this very important song that we recorded. Yeah. Huh. This song is so important. What song is it, Michael? I don't remember. But this is a song I think I wrote. Oh, is this Emily? I think this is Emily. Yeah, okay. This song is called Emily. And I think it's this one. <laughs> I 
I have seen better days. This is my mistake, and I'll get only what I take. I didn't get a pick. about to blow Dizzy white snowflakes find their way right up her nose and don't ask her how she feels and don't ask me what song years before I ever met you. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, it has nothing to do with you. How dare you? <laughs> um, let me shut the lights. Turn down the light. Long time ago, a grandmother friend told me it'd be good to get to Ojibwe land. Really wish I'd have gotten there already. To Ojibwe land? <laughs> Is that like going to Disneyland? Yeah, only Ojibwe land's got a uh, water park made out of birch bark. <laughs> yeah, come to Ojibwe land. You get to ride an actual birch bark canoe through the um, lazy river. Um, you know, eat some wild rice. Some Manuman. What else would you do at Ojibwe land? Uh, you could wear moccasins. 
You can wear some some moccasins with the with the bulgy toes. The, you know. Oh look, let's get a flower a flower pattern beadwork on our moccasins. Fancy pants, wear your fancy pants. <laughs>